An alcoholic drink or alcoholic beverage is a drink that contains ethanol, a type of alcohol produced by fermentation of grains, fruits, or other sources of sugar. Drinking alcohol plays an important social role in many cultures. Most countries have laws regulating the production, sale, and consumption of alcoholic beverages. Some countries ban such activities entirely, but alcoholic drinks are legal in most parts of the world. The global alcoholic drink industry exceeded $1 trillion in 2014. Alcohol is a depressant, which in low doses causes euphoria, reduces anxiety, and improves sociability. In higher doses, it causes drunkenness, stupor, unconsciousness, or death. Long-term use can lead to alcohol abuse, physical dependence, and alcoholism. Alcohol is one of the most widely used recreational drugs in the world with about 33% of people being current drinkers. As of 2016 women on average drink 0.7 drinks and males 1.7 drinks a day. In 2015, among Americans, 86% of adults had consumed alcohol at some point, 70% had drunk it in the last year, and 56% in the last month. Alcoholic drinks are typically divided into three classes beers, wines, and spirits and typically their alcohol content is between 3% and 50%. Discovery of late Stone Age jugs suggest that intentionally fermented drinks existed at least as early as the Neolithic period circle 10,000 BC. Many animals also consume alcohol when given the opportunity and are affected in much the same way as humans, although humans are the only species known to produce alcoholic drinks intentionally. Topic. Fermented drinks <laughs> Topic. Beer Beer is a beverage fermented from grain mash. It is typically made from barley or a blend of several grains and flavored with hops. Most beer is naturally carbonated as part of the fermentation process. If the fermented mash is distilled, then the drink becomes a spirit. In the Andean region, the most common beer is chicha, made from grain or fruits. Beer is the most consumed alcoholic beverage in the world. Topic. Cider Cider or cider cider is a fermented alcoholic drink made from any fruit juice, apple juice traditional and most common, peaches, pears, perry, cider or other fruit. Cider alcohol content varies from 1.2% ABV to 8.5% or more in traditional English ciders. In some regions, cider may be called apple wine. Topic. Mead Mead is an alcoholic drink made by fermenting honey with water, sometimes with various fruits, spices, grains, or hops. The alcoholic content of mead may range from about 8% ABV to more than 20%. The defining characteristic of mead is that the majority of the drink's fermentable sugar is derived from honey. Topic. Polk Polk is the Mesoamerican fermented drink made from the honey water of maguey cacti. The drink distilled from polk is tequila or mezcal. Topic. Wine Wine is a fermented beverage produced from grapes and sometimes other fruits. Wine involves a longer fermentation process than beer and a long aging process months or years, resulting in an alcohol content of 9% to 16% ABV. Fruit wines are made from fruits other than grapes, such as plums, cherries, or apples. Sake is a popular example of 
Rice wine Sparkling wine like French Champagne, Catalan Cava or Italian Prosecco can be made by means of a secondary fermentation. Topic. Distilled drinks A distilled drink or liquor is an alcoholic drink produced by distilling i.e., concentrating by distillation ethanol produced by means of fermenting grain, fruit, or vegetables. Unsweetened, distilled, alcoholic drinks that have an alcohol content of at least 20% ABV are called spirits. For the most common distilled drinks, such as whiskey and vodka, the alcohol content is around 40%. The term hard liquor is used in North America to distinguish distilled drinks from undistilled ones implicitly weaker. Vodka, gin, baiju, tequila, whiskey, brandy, and soju are examples of distilled drinks. Distilling concentrates the alcohol and eliminates some of the congeners. Freeze distillation concentrates ethanol along with methanol and fusel alcohols fermentation by products partially removed by distillation in Applejack. Fortified wine is wine, such as port or sherry, to which a distilled beverage usually brandy has been added. Fortified wine is distinguished from spirits made from wine in that spirits are produced by means of distillation, while fortified wine is simply wine that has had a spirit added to it. Many different styles of fortified wine have been developed, including port, sherry, madeira, marsala, commandaria, and the aromatized wine vermouth. Topic: Rectified spirit Rectified spirit, also called neutral grain spirit, is alcohol which has been purified by means of rectification, i.e. repeated distillation. The term neutral refers to the spirit's lack of the flavor that would have been present if the mash ingredients had been distilled to a lower level of alcoholic purity. Rectified spirit also lacks any flavoring added to it after distillation, as is done, for example, with gin. Other kinds of spirits, such as whiskey, are distilled to a lower alcohol percentage to preserve the flavor of the mash. Rectified spirit is a clear, colorless, flammable liquid that may contain as much as 95% ABV. It is often used for medicinal purposes. It may be a grain spirit or it may be made from other plants. It is used in mixed drinks, liqueurs, and tinctures, and also as a household solvent. Topic. Health effects Alcohol has significant negative health effects, including increased risk of death and cancer. Negative effects are related to the amount consumed with no safe lower limit seen, Short-term effects Wine, beer, distilled spirits and other alcoholic drinks contain ethyl alcohol and alcohol consumption has short-term psychological and physiological effects on the user. Different concentrations of alcohol in the human body have different effects on a person. The effects of alcohol depend on the amount an individual has drunk, the percentage of alcohol in the wine, beer or spirits and the time span that the consumption took place, the amount of food eaten and whether an individual has taken other prescription, over-the-counter or street drugs, among other factors. Alcohol in carbonated drinks is absorbed faster than alcohol in non-carbonated drinks. Drinking enough to cause a blood alcohol concentration (BAC) of 0.03 to 0.12% typically causes an overall improvement in mood and possible euphoria, increased self-confidence and sociability, decreased anxiety, a flushed, red appearance in the face, and impaired judgment and fine muscle coordination. A BAC of 0.09% to 0.25% causes lethargy, sedation, balance problems and blurred vision. 
A BAC from 0.18% to 0.30% causes profound confusion, impaired speech e.g., slurred speech, staggering, dizziness and vomiting. A BAC from 0.25% to 0.40% causes stupor, unconsciousness, anterograde amnesia, vomiting death may occur due to inhalation of vomit pulmonary aspiration while unconscious and respiratory depression potentially life-threatening. A BAC from 0.35% to 0.80% causes a coma unconsciousness, life-threatening respiratory depression and possibly fatal alcohol poisoning. As with all alcoholic drinks, drinking while driving, operating an aircraft or heavy machinery increases the risk of an accident. Many countries have penalties against drunk driving. Long-term effects The main active ingredient of wine, beer and distilled spirits is alcohol. Drinking small quantities of alcohol less than one drink in women and two in men per day is associated with a decreased risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes mellitus, and early death. Drinking more than this amount, however, increases the risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, atrial fibrillation, and stroke. The risk is greater in younger people due to binge drinking, which may result in violence or accidents. About 3.3 million deaths, 5.9% of all global deaths, are believed to be due to alcohol each year. Alcoholism reduces a person's life expectancy by around 10 years and alcohol use is the third leading cause of early death in the United States. Even moderate alcohol consumption increases cancer risk in individuals. No professional medical association recommends that people who are non-drinkers should start drinking wine. Another long-term effect of alcohol usage, when also used with tobacco products, is alcohol acting as a solvent, which allows harmful chemicals in tobacco to get inside the cells that line the digestive tract. Alcohol slows these cells' healing ability to repair the damage to their DNA caused by the harmful chemicals in tobacco. Alcohol contributes to cancer through this process, while lower quality evidence suggests a cardioprotective effect. No controlled studies have been completed on the effect of alcohol on the risk of developing heart disease or stroke. Excessive consumption of alcohol can cause liver cirrhosis and alcoholism. The American Heart Association cautions people not to start drinking. If they do not already drink alcohol, consult your doctor on the benefits and risks of consuming alcohol in moderation. Alcoholic drinks are classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer (IARC) as a group 1 carcinogen, carcinogenic to humans. IARC classifies alcoholic drink consumption as a cause of female breast, colorectum, larynx, liver, esophagus, oral cavity, and pharynx cancers, and as a probable cause of pancreatic cancer. Congeners In the alcoholic drinks industry, congeners are substances produced during fermentation. These substances include small amounts of chemicals such as occasionally desired other alcohols, like propanol and 3-methyl-1-butanol, but also compounds that are never desired such as acetone, acetaldehyde and glycols. Congeners are responsible for most of the taste and aroma of distilled alcoholic drinks, and contribute to the taste of non-distilled drinks. It has been suggested that these substances contribute to the symptoms of a hangover. Tannins are congeners found in wine in the presence of phenolic compounds. Wine tannins add bitterness, have a drying sensation, taste herbaceous and are often described as astringent. Wine tannins adds balance, complexity, structure and makes a wine last longer, so they play an important role in the aging of wine. <inaudible> <inaudible> Food energy 
Alcoholic drinks are a source of food energy. The USDA uses a figure of 6.93 kilocalories, 29.0 kilojoules per gram of alcohol, 5.47 kilocalories or 22.9 kilojoules per milliliter for calculating food energy. In addition to alcohol, many alcoholic drinks contain carbohydrates. For example, in 12 U.S. fluid ounces 355 milliliters of 5% ABV beer, along with approximately 18 milliliters of alcohol 96 kilocalories or 400 kilojoules, there are usually 10 to 15 grams of carbohydrates about 40 to 60 kilocalories or 170 to 250 kilojoules. Excessive daily calorie intake may contribute to an increase in body weight and so-called beer belly. In addition to the direct effect of its caloric content, alcohol is also known to potentiate the insulin response of the human body to glucose, which, in essence, instructs the body to convert consumed carbohydrates into fat and to suppress carbohydrate and fat oxidation. Ethanol is directly processed in the liver to acetyl-CoA, the same intermediate product as in glucose metabolism. Because ethanol is mostly metabolized and consumed by the liver, chronic excessive use can lead to fatty liver. This leads to a chronic inflammation of the liver and eventually alcoholic liver disease. Topic: Amount of use. The average number of people who drink as of 2016 was 39% for males and 25% for females 2.4 billion people in total. Females on average drink 0.7 drinks per day while males drink 1.7 drinks per day. The rates of drinking varies significantly in different areas of the world. Topic. Reasons for use Topic. Aperitifs and digestifs An aperitif is any alcoholic beverage usually served before a meal to stimulate the appetite, while a digestif is any alcoholic beverage served after a meal for the stated purpose of improving digestion. Fortified wine, liqueurs, and dry champagne are common aperitifs. Because aperitifs are served before dining, they are usually dry rather than sweet. One example is Cinzano, a brand of vermouth. Digestifs include brandy, fortified wines and herb-infused spirits Topic. Flavoring. Pure ethanol tastes bitter to humans, some people also describe it as sweet. However, ethanol is also a moderately good solvent for many fatty substances and essential oils. This facilitates the use of flavoring and coloring compounds in alcoholic drinks as a taste mask, especially in distilled drinks. Some flavors may be naturally present in the beverage's raw material. Beer and wine may also be flavored before fermentation, and spirits may be flavored before, during, or after distillation. Sometimes flavor is obtained by allowing the beverage to stand for months or years in oak barrels, usually made of American or French oak. A few brands of spirits may also have fruit or herbs inserted into the bottle at the time of bottling. Wine is important in cuisine not just for its value as an accompanying beverage, but as a flavor agent, primarily in stocks and braising, since its acidity lends balance to rich savory or sweet dishes. Wine sauce is an example of a culinary sauce that uses wine as a primary ingredient. Natural wines may exhibit a broad range of alcohol content, from below 9% to above 16% ABV, with most wines being in the 12.5 to 14.5% range. Fortified wines, usually with brandy, may contain 20% alcohol or more. Topic: <laughs> Alcohol measurement.
Topic: <laughs> Alcohol concentration. The concentration of alcohol in a beverage is usually stated as the percentage of alcohol by volume ABV, the number of milliliters ML of pure ethanol in 100 milliliters of beverage or as proof. In the United States, proof is twice the percentage of alcohol by volume at 60 degrees Fahrenheit e.g. 80 proof equals 40% ABV. Degrees proof were formerly used in the United Kingdom, where 100 degrees proof was equivalent to 57.1% ABV. Historically, this was the most dilute spirit that would sustain the combustion of gunpowder. Ordinary distillation cannot produce alcohol of more than 95.6% by weight, which is about 97.2% ABV proof because at that point alcohol is an azeotrope with water. A spirit which contains a very high level of alcohol and does not contain any added flavoring is commonly called a neutral spirit. Generally, any distilled alcoholic beverage of 170 U.S. proof or higher is considered to be a neutral spirit. Most yeasts cannot reproduce when the concentration of alcohol is higher than about 18%, so that is the practical limit for the strength of fermented drinks such as wine, beer, and sake. However, some strains of yeast have been developed that can reproduce in solutions of up to 25% ABV. Topic. Serving measures Topic Shot sizes Shot sizes vary significantly from country to country. In the United Kingdom, serving size in licensed premises is regulated under the Weights and Measures Act 1985. A single serving size of spirits gin, whiskey, rum, and vodka are sold in 25 milliliters or 35 milliliters quantities or multiples thereof. Beer is typically served in pints 568 milliliters, but is also served in half pints or third pints. In Israel, a single serving size of spirits is about twice as much, 50 or 60 milliliters. The shape of a glass can have a significant effect on how much one pours. A Cornell University study of students and bartenders pouring showed both groups pour more into short, wide glasses than into tall, slender glasses. Aiming to pour one shot of alcohol, 1.5 ounces or 44.3 milliliters, students on average poured 45.5 milliliters and 59.6 milliliters, 30% more, respectively, into the tall and short glasses. The bartenders scored similarly, on average, pouring 20.5% more into the short glasses. More experienced bartenders were more accurate, pouring 10.3% less alcohol than less experienced bartenders. Practice reduced the tendency of both groups to overpour for tall, slender glasses but not for short, wide glasses. These misperceptions are attributed to two perceptual biases, one estimating that tall, slender glasses have more volume than shorter, wider glasses, and two over-focusing on the height of the liquid and disregarding the width. Topic. Standard drinks A standard drink is a notional drink that contains a specified amount of pure alcohol. The standard drink is used in many countries to quantify alcohol intake. It is usually expressed as a measure of beer, wine, or spirits. One standard drink always contains the same amount of alcohol regardless of serving size or the type of alcoholic beverage. The standard drink varies significantly from country to country. For example, it is 7.62 milliliters, 6 grams of alcohol in Austria, but in Japan it is 25 milliliters, 19.75 grams. In the United Kingdom, there is a system of units of alcohol which serves as a guideline for alcohol consumption. A single unit of alcohol is defined as 10 milliliters. The number of units present in a typical drink is sometimes printed on bottles. 
The system is intended as an aid to people who are regulating the amount of alcohol they drink, it is not used to determine serving sizes. In the United States, the standard drink contains 0.6 U.S. fluid ounces 18 milliliters of alcohol. This is approximately the amount of alcohol in a 1-2 U.S. fluid ounce 350 milliliters glass of beer, a 5 U.S. fluid ounce 150 milliliters glass of wine, or a 1.5 U.S. fluid ounce 44 milliliters glass of a 40% ABV 80 US proof spirit. Topic. Laws Alcohol laws regulate the manufacture, packaging, labeling, distribution, sale, consumption, blood alcohol content of motor vehicle drivers, open containers, and transportation of alcoholic drinks. Such laws generally seek to reduce the adverse health and social impacts of alcohol consumption. In particular, alcohol laws set the legal drinking age, which usually varies between 16 and 25 years, sometimes depending upon the type of drink e.g., beer versus hard liquor. Some countries do not have a legal drinking or purchasing age, but most countries set the minimum age at 18 years. Such laws may take the form of permitting distribution only to licensed stores, monopoly stores, or pubs and they are often combined with taxation, which serves to reduce the demand for alcohol by raising its price and it is a form of revenue for governments. These laws also often limit the hours or days e.g. blue laws on which alcohol may be sold or served, as can also be seen in the last call. Ritual in U.S. and Canadian bars, where bartenders and servers ask patrons to place their last orders for alcohol, due to serving our cutoff laws. In some countries, alcohol cannot be sold to a person who is already intoxicated. Alcohol laws in many countries prohibit drunk driving. In some jurisdictions, alcoholic drinks are totally prohibited for reasons of religion e.g., Islamic countries with Sharia law or for reasons of local option, public health, and morals e.g., prohibition in the United States from 1920 to 1933. In jurisdictions which enforce Sharia law, the consumption of alcoholic drinks is an illegal offense, although such laws may exempt non-Muslims. Topic. History 10,000 to 5,000 BC, discovery of late Stone Age jugs suggests that intentionally fermented drinks existed at least as early as the Neolithic period. 7,000 5600 BC, examination and analysis of ancient pottery jars from the Neolithic village of Jiahu in the Henan province of northern China revealed residue left behind by the alcoholic drinks they had once contained. According to a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, chemical analysis of the residue confirmed that a fermented drink made of grape and hawthorn fruit wine, honey mead and rice beer was being produced in 7500 BC, McGovern et al., 2005, McGovern 2009. The results of this analysis were published in December 2004. 9th century AD, the medieval Arabs used the distillation process extensively, and applied it to the distillation of alcohol. The Arab chemist Al-Kindi unambiguously described the distillation of wine in the 9th century. 12th century, the process of distillation spread from the Middle East to Italy, where distilled alcoholic drinks were recorded in the mid-12th century. In China, archaeological evidence indicates that the true distillation of alcohol began during the 12th century Jin or Southern Song dynasties. A still has been found at an archaeological site in Qinglong, Hebei, dating to the 12th century. 14th century, in India, the true distillation of alcohol was introduced from the Middle East, and was in wide use in the Delhi Sultanate by the 14th century. By the early 14th century, distilled alcoholic drinks had spread throughout the European continent. Topic. 
Topic. See also. Alcoholic drinks portal. Topic. Beverage related articles. List of alcoholic drinks. List of countries by alcohol consumption. Beer and breweries by region. Chinese alcoholic beverages. Cooking with alcohol. Homebrewing. Mixed drink. Topic. Social and health. Alcohol and health. Long-term effects of alcohol consumption. Religion and alcohol. Short-term effects of alcohol consumption. <laughs>